Really? Action? Well, it's common, falling in love with Italy is the combination, I think, of the people here. The, you know, the incredible landscape, the, um, it's just there's a certain quality to the way of life here that I think is just very unique. The essence of love for me is, is finding what makes you passionate and, and allowing yourself to, to be involved in what those passions are and how you can, you can you know, store that and you know, place that into you know, your, your, every minute that you live your life. And um, whether it, it be with somebody or the things that you love to do or the things you love to, to experience, you know, those make up the, you know, the idea of love for me. Part of m my job is, as, you know, artistically and as a photographer, the responsibility of that is to be able to explore and study the people that I'm, I'm working with and to kind of unfold the things that are appreciated and, and valued about who they are and what they bring to the world, their contributions. And whether it's a portrait or whether it's a, you know, a vignette, you know, for me it's all about un uncovering that little essence of who that, that person is and to be able to pass that on to somebody who's actually viewing the photograph as well. I have many loves in my life. I have love for my family. I have the love for, you know, my friends and for the people who I spend a lot of time with and who I meet along, you know, this incredible journey. And um, for the people that I work with, who I get to know through, you know, my, my work as a photographer. And, um, and all my new friends in Italy. That was good, right? You know, working with a lot of these, you know, our talent, working with our talent, you know, and trying to, you know, direct them to a place to where uh, there's a connection to these two people has been um, a lot of fun, and I think the part of you know me as a as a photographer to be able to you know contrive a situation where it feels believable, and to also you know create a little story uh, and and, uh, and tell that tell that story um, is you know is really like the obligation of this you know, the idea here. And, um, you know, you, you need good people, you need good actors to be able to, to convey that as well. So I think that the people that we chose were the right people because, you know, they found that connection. And I, I also think that it's one of the easiest things to do is to allow yourself to be vulnerable and to place yourself into a situation where, you know, even if just for a second you connect with that other person. And, um, and just fortuitously it all worked out with, with you know, the great subjects that we, you know, we brought here together. Let's hope so. Let's hope that a, a couple of interesting things sort of happen from these little, these little intimate photographs. And maybe they'll inspire other people as well. The first time I, I think the first time I fell in love was when I was 13. And uh, she was my best friend, but I was too shy to tell her that I was in love with her. So I just kind of had to be her psychotherapist and, you know, sit there and listen to all of her annoying problems, boy problems. And then finally I just couldn't take it anymore, so, you know, I had to move on. I think for me the, the, 
The thing I love about my job is that it's never the same job any day. You know, every, every day is different. And uh, there's always a new, there's always kind of a new circumstance to, to be a part of and to solve or to throw yourself into. And um, one of the, the, the real benefits of what I get to do is that you're always collaborating you know, with, with interesting people, you know, like Rudy and Alice and uh, Lucia and, you know, Kristen Ballo and Michaela. They're all, you know, like all these people that we're, we're working with, you know, they contribute a part in order to make it, a, you know, the sum of the whole. And, um, and it's all about that collaboration. It's all about, you know, in, you know everybody putting something in in order to make it better. And then, you know, the outcome is when all those things come together and, you know, everything looks good and everything feels good and I can create that world and it, it becomes something that you actually, you know, can, can share. Well, I think that for uh, you know, chronologically, I think that music, as a kid, music came first. I didn't really know about photography until I was, you know, somewhat of a teenager. Um, but when I was, you know, probably 10 or 11 years old, I had two older brothers, and they both really loved music. And, um, you know, and you couldn't help but be in, in you know, to find something uh, that, that, uh, that fell upon you from you know just being around them, and um, you know my really early moments of music were uh, probably in the 70s. Uh, my brothers listened to The Doors and to the Allman Brothers and to the Rolling Stones and to the Beatles, and um, you know those were really early moments for me and then you know eventually I kind of found my way into listening to different types of music and um, I've always felt as if music and photography were not dissimilar you know in terms of songwriting and storytelling um, there's very much of a crossover for that.